it's got an actual club It's just actual stories that are actually fun And they're written by kids that actors tell with their mouths And it's time to begin, it's the Story Club Everybody, actors, say hello to all of the audience members. Hello, everybody. Hello, audience. Hi. Welcome to the Story Clubhouse. My name's Vera from Young Storytellers, and I'm really excited you're joining us for another Thursday evening virtual big show. Yay. Tonight. Thanks, <laughs> Antino. Tonight, we're live reading The Taco Bell Escape by Natalie from Saturn Street Elementary, who is also here with us today. Yay, yeah, Natalie. <laughs> Woo, Natalie. <laughs> Let's get going. Um, Natalie, are you still with us? Yes. Natalie, awesome. Uh, are you ready to introduce your script? Yes. Cool. All right, Natalie, uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, and Kendall, uh, as her mentor, uh, I just want to ask you, how did you get involved with Young Storytellers? Um, I had a few coworkers who volunteered as mentors a while back, and they suggested that I do it. And now I've been volunteering for about four years. That's so awesome. We're so excited to have you. Love it. Uh, back to you, Natalie. What inspired you to write this script, The Taco Bell Escape? At first, I don't, I didn't think of anything to know to write. So then I started thinking maybe I should write about food. Like it's one of my favorite things. So I thought about maybe a restaurant or a fast food place. And then I thought about Taco Bell. So good. <laughs> Very cool. Um, Kendall, what was it like to work with Natalie? It was so much fun. Every week I'd come in and she was always so excited and so ready to write and just had, as everyone will see, so many great and hilarious ideas for her story. Loved it. Very cool. And Natalie, if you had anything to say to like young storytellers that are out there um, or any of your fans, what would you want to say to them? Don't be afraid to come up with any ideas that you may think that people wouldn't like, but you have. Excellent. I love that. Don't be afraid of coming up with creative ideas that you think other people wouldn't like because it's your ideas, right? It's a very inspiring message. Thank you, Natalie. Uh, we'll have our actors introduce themselves. Uh, if you could please say your name, the role that you'll be playing in the script, and uh, what is your favorite quarantine TV show, but it can't be The Tiger King. Mm. Mia, can I go first? Oh my goodness. Um, hi, I'm Mia Malacone. I will be playing person trying to eat a burrito number two. I'll be playing police officer number two. I'll be playing the rat and Taco Bell owner. And the only show that I watched in quarantine is Tiger King. Next on the list is Unorthodox. So maybe that, but I haven't watched it yet. Good. Ooh. Santino? Hey guys, uh, my name is Santino Jimenez. I will be burrito today. And, um, been watching a lot of shipping wars on YouTube. Um, they've been warring about uh, bidding and then uh, they ship stuff across the country. That's that's how current I am. I think I got canceled two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Jeremy? Uh, I'm Jeremy Rabb and I was Natalie's head mentor at Saturn Elementary and I'll be the narrator. And I have been going old school. I've been watching I, Claudius from the 1970s, because I'm old. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. Uh, uh, Kendall, would you like to say something? Oh, Introduce sure. Yourself? Um, I'm Kendall. I was Natalie's mentor. And my favorite show that's not Tiger King that I've been watching is Devs, actually. <clears throat> so it's, in. it's really good. Highly recommend it. Is that Devs with a V or with a B? Devs with a V. I like development. Cool. Chrissy, what about you? Um, hi, my name is Chrissy Fit, and I am playing Hot Sauce. Um, I, what am I, oh, I'm watching anything that's like reality fashion show, um, like Making the Cut that's on Amazon, 
And now I'm going to go back and watch like Project Runway because it's so weirdly emotional and like sweet and cool and people are so creative. So that's why I did this fashion. <laughs> well, you look fashion-tastic. That was a bad joke. Uh, moving on, Peter. <laughs> uh, hey, what's up? I'm Peter. I'm Chrissy's mentor. Um, <laughs> Let's see, uh, I'm going to be playing the role of, uh, of Tiger King, and uh, I haven't really been watching many shows, but I've been reading a really good script called The Taco Bell Escape. Uh, so if you guys know of it, you should read it. It's great. Thakamo? <laughs> I'm Thakamo. I'm going to be playing person number one, trying to eat burrito, stinker poodle, the janitor, bird, and Police number one. And I guess my favorite uh, quarantine show would be Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season one. Nothing after that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, Natalie, do you want to share with us uh, your favorite TV show in quarantine right now? I haven't watched any TV shows yet, but... Good for you. <laughs> I was about to say, she's doing well. <laughs> Natalie, are you writing any scripts for anybody? No. <laughs> Me? Me? Please, please, please. I need a job, Natalie. Please write me a script. I asked first. Oh. Yeah, don't, don't let them bully okay. you, Natalie. You can write at whatever pace that you want, and you can write roles for actors that aren't just the ones on screen. Just saying. No. Hey, Natalie, yeah, Natalie, Natalie I'm wearing foil right for now. You, Natalie. Oh. I'm wearing don't let them peer pressure you. you as a burrito. Okay, don't let them peer pressure again. you into writing more. Yeah, but let's just. It's good. I need, I need something juicy, you know? <laughs> Saucy. Well, luckily for everyone on screen, we do have a work of Natalie that is juicy and saucy, and you're about yes. to perform it, so let's kick that off. Uh, Jeremy, I'll hand it to you. The Taco Bell Escape. In a far, far away place where you wouldn't think a story would take place, Taco Bell. Written by Natalie Uriarte, mentored by Kendall McManus. Interior, Taco Bell Kitchen, 12 p.m. Burrito, made with the finest chicken, topped with sour cream, onions, and a drizzle of cheese, is in the kitchen trying to av avoid all the people trying to eat burrito. We will eat you! We will get you! Mm. You never get me alive! Burrito tries to barricade the door to the kitchen, but he's too small because he's a burrito. Instead, he locks the door. Taco Bell owner has a key to the kitchen and opens the door. Burrito runs to the storage room. Interior. Taco Bell storage room continuous. Burrito meets Taco, who is made with just cheese. Mm, I can help you escape all this if you'll be my friend. Okay. Burrito and Taco start planning their escape. Did you hear that? Yeah, I do. Where's it coming from? <laughs> Taco and Burrito start searching the storage room and find the noise coming from a box. They open the box and meet hot sauce. <laughs> Thank you for freeing me. You're welcome. Why are you here? Huh. Would you like to help us make an escape plan? Sure. Burrito, taco, and hot sauce start planning. Interior, Taco Bell main area, two hours later, 2 p.m. Burrito, taco, and hot sauce start setting up their escape with hiding places. They work all afternoon and night. 18 hours later, burrito, taco, and hot sauce head to their hiding places and they grab their supplies like ropes and set up. Stinker Poodle, a janitor at Taco Bell, spots them and screams. Thieves! Stinker Poodle calls the police. 
burrito, taco, and hot sauce start running away and end up on top of a cup, which is really high up. Taco pushes burrito down. Burrito ah! starts screaming. Oh, my God! Hot sauce tries to help by grabbing the rope and throws it at burrito to catch. Taco pushes hot sauce to the ground too. <laughs> Burrito climbs right back up to the top of the cup and fights Taco by throwing cheese at each other. <laughs> Burrito ends up winning. <laughs> Taco runs away. Burrito goes to help Hot Sauce back up to the cup, and they celebrate. <laughs> then police show up. Put your heads up! Police there. We have a report of a robbery. Burrito and Hot Sauce start running. But the police are chasing after them. Burrito and hot sauce run back to the storage room. Interior, Taco Bell storage room, 7 p.m. Burrito and hot sauce are hiding in a box. The police come into the back storage area and are searching for them. Police open up the box and find them. I cut you now. <laughs> Burrito and hot sauce spray hot sauce into the policeman's eyes. Oh. It's all over their faces and they're bumping around trying to get out and fall. Burrito and hot sauce get out of the box. Policeman runs out. Burrito and hot sauce high five. Yeah. Interior, Taco Bell storage room two hours later. Taco sneaks in and ties up burrito and hot sauce to the <laughs> move out of the door. <laughs> Come in and eat them! People start coming in. Burrito and hot sauce try to cut the rope by eating it. The dough rope breaks. <laughs> they run into the kitchen. Interior. Taco Bell kitchen continuous. Burrito and hot sauce start trying to barricade the door, but it doesn't work. They grab rope and start climbing into a vent. Quick, 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 crawl faster! Burrito and hot sauce hear something in the vents. They start crawling even faster, but the rat is catching up. The rat bites into burrito. <laughs> burrito kicks the rat off and they crawl away. They crawl out of the vent and onto the roof. Exterior, Taco Bell roof, continuous. Burrito and hot sauce realize burrito is injured. Oh, we need to find bandages. I'm fine. We have to go further. We're almost there to our escape. Burrito crawls because of his injury and hot sauce runs. Then they run into Taco. Did you really think you can escape under my watch? Burrito and hot sauce gasp. No! Burrito and hot sauce try to get away, but Taco catches them. <laughs> Oh. Taco ties them up again in a rope not made out of dough. Taco <laughs> realizes Burrito is injured. <laughs> You're injured. So that means you can't run. It's okay. 
he will still get away. <laughs> All of a sudden, Taco gets caught by a bird. Oh, oh, snap! <laughs> Burrito and Hot Sauce look surprised. Hot Sauce gets loose from the rope and helps Burrito. Oh, 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 we need to find a way out so we can finally be free. Agreed. Oh. Hot mm -hmm. Sauce and Burrito look around and Hot Sauce sees a dumpster. Maybe we can jump down from here and go into the dumpster. Are you crazy? It's our only choice. Do you want to escape? Yeah, but I want to. I don't want to be covered in trash. Well, you're lost. <laughs> Hot sauce jumps down. <gasps> Burrito gasps. Wow. Crazy! Burrito tries to find a way off without jumping into the dumpster. He looks at a bird. Hmm, interesting. I got a plan. <clears throat> Coo -hoo -hoo. Coo -coo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> bird goes after him and grabs him. Burrito waits until the bird lands and then gets off. <sighs> then he realizes he escaped. Ew! I escaped finally! Finally! All I need to do is find hot sauce and we can be on our freedom. Burrito looks at the dumpster and calls out her name. Hot sauce! Burrito spots her. <laughs> oh my goodness! We escaped! How did you get down? Uh, it's complicated. It was so, so hard. I almost lost a limb. <sighs> oh, that's why you should never mess with burrito and hot sauce. <laughs> they both run into the distance, then get eaten by a bird. <laughs> <laughs> the end.